Oh no! And I was just about to go on my holidays. If this scenario has ever befallen you, first of all you need a spare wheel. Not all vehicles have a spare wheel. Order a spare wheel. If your van doesn't have a spare wheel and you plan to go on holiday to Europe, get a spare wheel. You try getting a spare tyre in France on a Sunday if you haven't got one. The gunk that comes supplied with motorhomes only gets you so far. In practice, it doesn't work very well. It only deals with pinholes and very small punctures. It's not massively useful. Okay, so you've got a flat, you need to change it. First thing to do is get your toolkit out and find your spare wheel. Okay, spare wheel tool needs to go into here and then you rotate it to drop the wheel down. That's the wheel on the ground, let's put it on. The wire attaches to a plate uh, underneath the spare wheel. You need to get your hands on the inside of the spare wheel, undo this nut. This has to come out through the centre of the wheel. When you're putting the wheel back on, same procedure, feed this through Stick that through the hole and then screw that in place and that holds your spare wheel on once it's wound up. Right, we've got our spare wheel out. We just need to jack the vehicle up next. First thing you need to do, loosen your wheel nuts. Put the wrench on, stand on it. Repeat that on all your wheel nuts. Right, wheel nuts are free. Get the jack out of the toolbox. Look in your owner's manual for where the mounting points are. This must go in the right place. If it doesn't, you risk damaging your bodywork. On the Decato, there's a nice little mounting stud here, which is structural and the jacking point. Release the jack with the wrench if it's a bit stiff, and then you need to wind it up to meet the jacking point. Ideally you need it on a firm surface. If you haven't got a, fat, a firm surface use the flattest surface you can find. You sometimes don't get the choice. Make sure the base is flat, make sure your handbrake is on and the van is in gear. Right, make sure that's flat. Just start cranking it up on the thumb wheel until it becomes too stiff. Then get the wrench on the end of it and start lifting it up. This isn't bad, it's just quite a time consuming one. Okay, with your tyre off the ground, undo the wheel nuts. Leave the bottom wheel nut in place until you're ready to remove the wheel. They should just hand screw loose. Okay, bottom screw. Put your foot on the bottom of the tire. Then remove the last screw. The wheel should flip forward. On alloy wheels, they sometimes seize on the hub. If they do seize on the hub, it's very tempting to get underneath the van, try and kick them off. Don't. Kick them at the edges on the front face. Never put any part of your body under a van on a jack, just in case it moves. Right, let's get the wheel swapped over. Before you put it on, just clean the back mounting face, just in case there's any dirt, debris or corrosion that can make the tyre uh, the wheel sit unevenly on the hub. Do the same thing on the hub. Just give it a quick clean. This one's new, so it hasn't really got any bits on it, but older vans might have a bit of corrosion on them, so it's worth doing that so that it seats flat. Notice these two studs. They correspond to the two studs here. Right, let's get it on. Put your foot on the bottom of the tyre, put the bottom bolt in first, 
just hand tighten it and then do the one opposite and get your foot off it then hand tighten them in okay we're not going to fully tighten the uh, bolts at this stage we've just loosely put them on hand tight lower it to the ground first then we do the final tight the other point to mention with this particular vehicle it has alloy wheels and the wheel bolts supplied are alloy wheel bolts which have a slightly different mounting flange so these really are for temporary use only when you're using a steel wheel technically it should have a different set of bolts for the steel spare wheel but few people will actually find they're supplied with them right tightening the wheels tighten it as much as you can by hand and do the opposite nut so that it seats squarely so you always do the nut opposite never just go round in a circle that is guaranteed to get you a wonky wheel realistically you're not going to carry a torque wrench with you out in the field so just do them as tight as you physically can with your hands then stand on it to tighten it up a bit more that's our wheel nuts tightened check them every few miles just to make sure they're not coming loose as i say this is just a temporary fit of this steel wheel because we're using alloy wheel bolts um, but this will get you to the tyre depot and hopefully get you back on the road mm -hmm.